Sandra. Eh? What are you laughing about? Ah, ha, ha. We've been singing about fractions. You know all about fractions, don't you, Mama Dege? Ha, well, of course I do. What fractions were you singing about? Well, we sang about halves. Do you know the meaning of Nusu? That's how you say one half in Swahili. Ah, that's right. And we write one half like this. The top number is called the numerator. And the bottom number is called the denominator. Numerator, denominator. Numerator, denominator. In Kiswahili, we call the top number Kiasi. And we call the bottom number Asili. Kiasi, Asili. Numerator, denominator. Let's show them an example, Mama Dege. Look at this tangerine. How many sections does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight pieces. I hit one out of eight pieces. And so one is the numerator. And eight is the denominator. This section, we call it one eighth. It just means one piece out of eight pieces. Do you get it, Dajura? You ate one piece out of eight total pieces. The total number of pieces are eight. And you ate one piece. That is one eighth. Look here at the denominator. It is eight, the total number of pieces in the whole. You ate one, so that is the numerator. So what fraction is there left? Seven eighths are left. Do you know the meaning of seven eighths, Dajura? We have still got seven out of those eight original pieces. So what is that called? In Kiswahili, we'd say Sabayanani. In English, seven eighths. I've got a little pumpkin, and my friend has her own pumpkins. I want to mix them up together, but she won't, so I go off alone. Tiny Tempo, <laughs> you are a clever kid. I love your song, but what does it mean? Hey, Tiny Tempo. Hey, Tiny Tempo. <laughs> Mama and <Dege. laughs> I didn't even see you. I was lost in my thoughts. Where are you going with your little song? <laughs> That's a nice song. Let me try to sing it. <laughs> I've got a little pumpkin. And my friend has her own pumpkins. <laughs> I want to mix them up together. But she won't. So I go off alone. <laughs> it is a great song. But what does it mean? My friend and I got pumpkins. My friend had three and I had one. I wanted to cook them together, but she didn't want to. So I just left. <laughs> ah, okay, I've got it. But why did you want to mix them? I wanted to mix them together, then split it half and half like this. My friend and I together had four pumpkins. If we split them half and half, then I would get two pumpkins and she would get two pumpkins. And we call that half and half. Where did you learn about halves, Tiny Tempo? I know about more than halves. I know about quarters. I know about thirds. I know about lots of other things too. And if you guys got one pumpkin, what would you do with it? That's easy. I take it and cut it down the middle to get two equal sized pieces. We'll split them between us so I'll get half and my friend would get half. 
goodness, tiny Tembo. You're a clever kid. I didn't realize you know so much about your house, but you understand it all. You get a half if you take many things and split them into two equal groups. And you also get halves if you take one thing and cut it into two equal parts. Well done, tiny Tembo. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mama Dege. What is mathematics? Mental acrobatics every day, all the time. Just use your mind. You use math when you measure. Width and length, solving problems using mental strength. Use number operations like multiplication. The number you'll find is like magic from your mind. Math is a part of everyday life. Just add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Can you solve the problem? Did you get the answer? Just use your brain and you can do it, sir. Now, don't you rush it. Just take it slow. You must be careful. Don't you know? You use math for all things in life. When you eat ugali, you count your bites. In a parade, count the steps you take. Just listen when I rap. I'm using math. Count Calculate the distance when you drive your car so you will know if you have gone far. Here's something else for you to count. Can you count the teeth in my mouth? We can measure width, length and depth and represent with X, Y and Z. Math is used for everything. Just do the numbers in your head. Now try to add up all the spots on my neck. How many do you see? And I even use math to get leaves off the tree. Mathematics, mathematics, you now, right? mathematics, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah.